Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While faculty, staff, and students at Shelby Valley High School were gearing up for the school day this morning, some noticed a suspicious man walking around the parking lot. The man was wearing all black and carrying a black backpack. About the time he was spotted, a Pike County Sheriff's deputy was pulling in for his morning patrol. Come to find out the, the guy has a warrant on him out of Harlan County. Uh, he gave the deputy permission to search his backpack and found several types of drugs and a lot of drug paraphernalia. He was also carrying a loaded handgun. The event took place just before the start of the school day. Sheriff Rodney Scott says the situation was resolved without incident. An active shooter training class was held at Shelby Valley High School just two days ago. Superintendent Reed Atkins says tips from the class and the help of the sheriff's office made the situation diffuse quickly and effectively. I want to commend my staff, my students, and also the sheriff's department on a, on a job well done. They did a great job handling the situation. And I feel like the fact that we've trained our staff and our students to the level we have uh, really assisted and helped in the situation this morning. Atkins added nothing is more important than the safety of the students. We will push this situation to the fullest extent. Anybody that comes around our school and, and creates a dangerous situation for our students, we will push. 37-year-old Michael Balk of Big Stone Gap, Virginia was lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. He was charged with possession of a handgun by a convicted felon, carrying a concealed weapon, several drug-related offenses, promoting contraband and trafficking within 1,000 feet of a school. In Robinson Creek, Shelby Porter, EKB News.